kill myself and harm my family. I better kill myself than hurt anybody. Before that, it started with a missed call. Hello, you have a call at no expense to you from an 815 area code and a name. Joining Cunningham, an inmate at McHenry County Jail. So started. Hello, you have a call at to you from a series of communications. Can I record this phone call? Yes. That the most necessary answer for us to chart a hi Joanne, a her person blueprint. How Joanne Cunningham, maybe the most loathed mother in America, how she pictures it happened. I feel like this is getting worse in here for me the more I talk to you. Joanne Cunningham and her ex-boyfriend, Andrew Drew Friend, stand accused of murdering their five-year-old son, AJ. A son a community prayed for days was alive. Soon after her arrest, in an effort to draft a portrayal, I wrote her simply wanting to know. Did you kill AJ? How she'd answer. AJ had ODD. She'd often speak of her son, AJ's purported ODD, Oppositional Defiant Disorder, defined by Mayo Clinic as a vindictiveness toward authority. Were you using heroin when you had AJ? Um, when I was pregnant with him, yes. Please say on your phone there was a video of AJ lying <laughs> on a bare mattress in his bedroom, and you were berating him for urinating on his bed. Well, I mean, wouldn't any parent? How could you be upset with AJ when you knew you were shooting up heroin when you were pregnant with him? gave birth to a drug-addicted AJ in 2013. He was taken from her for 18 months and given back. Who else do you talk to now? Nobody. Eventually, am I the only person you've been talking to? We spoke via video. Yes. Has everyone abandoned you? Yes. Why? They listen to the news. For nearly seven days, AJ's disappearance gripped the entire country. DCFS has been involved with Andrew's family for his entire life. As AJ's parents are in jail, charged with his murder tonight, nothing about his parents' story was true. Did something terrible happen to you growing up? Probably my brother committed suicide. Not long after, a schematic appeared, a tumultuous tangle of relationships leading to divorce. To divorce attorney Drew, documents show they'd fight each other with knives. To now fiancé Dan Nowicki, who once spent six months in jail for hitting his pregnant wife. 911, what's your address of your emergency? Um, we, uh... We have a missing child. Um. So you went to bed, right? Yeah. And the next morning you were going to go pick Dan up from jail? Yeah. And Noah yeah. AJ? Yeah. Yeah. That day, with Drew, their two kids, and coming to live with them the very morning the eldest AJ went missing, Dan Nowicki, Joanne's then fiance, fresh from the clink and father to the child growing inside her. I was pregnant with somebody else's child and he was supposed to be coming to live with us that morning. That never happened that day. AJ went missing. Dan didn't get out. And investigators found an internet search for child CPR on Drew's phone. A search Drew blames on Joanne. If it's Drew, then he needs to grow some balls and he needs to, he needs to tell them so everyone else isn't suffering. You know, I'm here. And pregnant with another man's child. A girl. We named her at the beginning. 
crazy face. In mid-June, she wrote, in the most perfect penmanship, yes, I did have my daughter, Gracie Faith. She'd held her for two days before she was taken. Did you kill AJ? No. I would never hurt my children. Now you say that, but some people are going to say, but you used drugs while you were pregnant. I know, and that's something I cannot take back. Could this depiction be redrawn? A DCFS caseworker investigating neglect and welts on A.J. returned A.J. to the home the day he began his on-site inquiry. A.J. would be dead in four months, eventually found in a shallow grave. It's always been hard for me to comprehend or understand evil, Joanne wrote me. In the final accounting, reports... They paint kind of a horror show of what went on in that house. Yeah. Was it a horror show, what was going on in that house in the end? No. I mean, no, we were a good, loving family. Joanne, a lot of people are just going to have a hard time believing that. I'm sure they do, but I don't care what they think. And that was it. Or was it? That's for a jury to figure. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.